Hi everyone. I feel like I'm giving off a little bit of Kate Spade vibes. This top has a bow in the back and I got the little pearls on. So we'll see how it goes. Hi, welcome back. This is India from Designer Accessory Adoption. Thanks for watching this video. Welcome back to my channel. Today's topic will be a little bit different. I'm just going to try something new here and feature um, some items that I have just received into the store and they will be listed at the point where this video is live. So I thought that I would try to show a little bit of live videos of items that I received for my online website. Um, just to give another aspect a little bit more of a description and a live kind of dimension to just still photos. So hopefully this helps provide some more information and we will go ahead and get started. So today's topics will be um, items that I received are all vintage Gucci, uh, two handbags and a pair of shoes. So first item up is going to be this lovely little vintage Gucci crossbody and I'll just drop this down so you can see this one is considered fair condition there is wear on the leather significant wear on the leather and it does have corner wear so I'm just showing that live I'm hoping that you seeing this live will help provide a little bit more context to the videos like I mentioned it is pretty cool here seeing vintage items because there definitely is a difference between a vintage item and when they um, kind of do a new release um, and the hardware changes, so on and so forth. I feel like the vintage items are made with much better quality. You'll see that G logo detail there, which is really, really pretty cool. Um, also, the hardware here that is an old Gucci. <laughs> logo twist lock detail um it does have a zipper pocket here which kind of reminds me of the your chanel classic flap a little bit um the inside was kind of like this sparkly gold type of lining it is still really soft but that shimmery gold obviously because of the how old it is has worn off as you can see um it does have a zippered pocket in the back and this little cool hardware piece right here that you can see is like that vintage Gucci emblem, which is pretty cool. Um, and then what else? It's open pocket, pocket, zipper pocket, and then there's another zipper pocket in the back. There is no pocket along the back side, but I like that um, it is made of coated canvas. So you do get that lovely benefit of kind of scratch resistant and being a wipeable material, obviously the leather um, is not as forgiving when you don't treat it right, but um, I think it's in pretty good condition. Like I said, it is considered fair condition. Reach out to me if you have any questions below. And I'll also put a link so you can see still photos and see pricing details as well. Next up vintage Gucci item up is going to be this Gucci saddle bag. And I'll pull a little bit closer here so you can see seaside details of it. It's pretty cool how you have the Gucci logo down here that's hooked. And one thing that I also, two things that I noticed, the first thing I noticed when I was photographing it is, I mean, you might not be able to see it from this angle, but I feel like it kind of makes a little G here, um, which I thought is really cool and a lot of attention to detail like if you look at it here you might not be able to see it but if you can see it in the corner over here where it kind of makes a g with the little post sticking through it so i thought that's pretty cool um so this one's made of a smooth yet sturdy leather um there are some markings on it so it does show some signs of imperfection i will say that this one overall um, there are a little bit of wear that you can see to the straps and I'll show the underside so you can kind of pay, see that a little bit better. Um, overall, I think the condition of this one is um, good and I'll open it up. So it's a snap closure, has the Gucci logo on the inside and then you have three compartments, one here. And then you have one in the middle with a zippered pocket and then you have another compartment 
in the back so you have that instant organization if you have watched any of my other videos you know how much i like that um another feature of this bag that i discovered when i was photographing it is this is a shorter strap so it makes it easy to be a shoulder handbag however when you initially look at it you think well it's not an adjustable strap well actually it is so you'll see me unlock the little clasp here by folding it up and pulling it through the little um hooks here and then i'll pull it up there we go so as i pull it up here i thought this was a really cool feature and i'm just going to do it on the other side same thing i'm just going to fold it forward unhook it and pull it through look at that isn't that cool this is what you get when you look at vintage bags i'm telling you so if you're not in a vintage consider vintage but you see how that hooks into there perfectly now on this side it some kind of way the little metal here doesn't it's kind of folded down a little bit so you can't get it all the way up but it is secure enough to put it into place um, and part of that as well as the overall condition is the reason why I mention it as good um, but definitely I will link info down below like I mentioned for the other one but I think that is so cool anybody else think that's cool I think it's cool all right so last but not least is a little bit of vintage Gucci for our guys and it's going to be a pair of vintage Gucci loafers and whoever had these did an excellent job keeping them together so you'll see the vintage Gucci logo there and the horse bit type of detail overall these were kept in really good condition like I mentioned so these are going to be considered very good there is wear on the toe and I'll show this other one so you can see so for my guys interested in a well-kept Gucci loafer check this out all right, so I'll show the inside <laughs> label. There you go, so you can see the label there. And then these are a size 41. And then I think I was just gonna show the bottom so you can see on the underside how they have been worn. Um, so you may wanna consider resoling these but I think overall the upper leather is in really great condition. And that's another um, thing or feature about vintage high-end items is as long as you keep it, um, take care of it, keep it stored properly, and then also it's able to be repaired um, because these items are made with such great quality materials. You can just take out the stuff that's worn and then um, fix it up again. Like the way that these upper leather, uh, the upper leather is in great condition. There are some imperfections. There are marks on them, which I detail on the website. But the soles can be resold and you can keep going with these. So I think it's great and you get vintage at a fraction of the price. The quality is really great, like I mentioned. So... I think vintage is the way to go but those are my three vintage gucci items that i just received in if you have any questions feel free to ask those in the comments down below or you can also reach out through me through email or my social media platforms thank you for watching if you're enjoying the videos please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe thanks have a good day see you next wednesday